Hi there, this is Meg from AIM Fitness Online. You are going to love today's workout. The workout is focusing on core, legs, and cardio, and I teach this class in a format called HIT, High Intensity Interval Training. So for today's class, we're going to be exercising for 40 seconds, and then 20 seconds is where you'll be taking that break and transitioning into the next workout. So you're going to love this class. You will just need a set of weights. If you don't have weights, you can also use canned goods, anything heavy that you can lift. Um, and if you're just getting started, I recommend anywhere between two to four pounds. If you've been exercising with me for a while, then aim for five to 10 pounds. All right, so enjoy the workout. I hope you have a lot of fun. We'll see you in a sec. All right, so good to see everybody. Hello, hello. All right, so we're going to get started. We're going to start with a warm up. We're going to start by taking those legs nice and wide today, wider than your shoulders. We're going to start by circling our shoulders, circling back, bending one knee at a time. And so we're stretching into your hips, inner and outer thighs as we get started. All right, so we're going to go for a nice, uh, gentle stretch as we get warmed up this morning. All right. Awesome. I've got my, I just set my device as well. So remind me at the end, I'll let you know how many calories we've burned and how many steps we do as well. All right. Good. Now we're going to circle your shoulders the other way. Keep on shifting side to side. All right, so in today's workout, we've got lots, lots of good stuff planned, some familiar exercises, and a few new ones. And uh, we are going to be focusing on our core today. Core, cardio, of course, and legs. All right, good. Now from here, we're going to be tapping, tapping to the side. Place those hands on your hips. Okay, tapping your toes, keeping those legs nice and wide. From here, we're going to add a few more circles. So this time, lifting those elbows a little higher as you circle back. And then bring the other out. We're going to change those arms. We're going to reach right across. Hi, Joanna. Good morning. Reaching across to the side. Keep those legs wide as you tap your toe. Really reach. It looks like you're reaching for that morning coffee. <laughs> or tea. Great. Okay, and you can keep those arms low or you can choose to lift a little higher up over your head. Stretch it okay. over your head. Over you can in through your nose and up. Out. Good. Okay, we're going to lower those arms, change those legs, we're going to squeeze it back and bending those knees. Bring those legs back behind you. For reach and squeeze. If you want those legs to be wider than your shoulders, this uh, makes it a little more gentle on the knees. Those legs moving, we're going to change the arms coming up. I don't know if you guys have been noticing the beautiful color in the side, but oh my goodness, I have put so many forests in my house and I've really enjoyed going for nature walks. I'm just looking at the back window right now. Colors are stunning this year. Amazing. All right, guys, from here, we're going to swing the arms side to side and keep the legs back. So still bending at the knees, aim those knees down towards the floor, don't lift your knees up. Good. 
Then we'll change those arms again. Movements today, upper body. Circle. And then change directions of those arms of your way. Awesome. Good. Three, two, and one. All right, good. So let's march it out, walking it out, pumping those arms at your side here. And we want to check for alignment. So I find it helpful to have a mirror close by that you can stand and look. Am I standing straight? Are my shoulders back? Okay, right, even if you don't have a mirror, you can look at yourself in the reflection or in the video. <laughs> or just really make a um, really focus on staying a little sweeter. Good. So we're going to move into a bit of cardio before we get into our first round of exercises. So we're going to be doing a one, two, three, top. Okay, so it looks like this. One, two, three, top. One, two, three, top. One, two, three, top. One, two, three, top. All right, so you can work at your own speed. Getting our heart rate up a little more, warm it up. Okay, awesome. All right, this time we're gonna be like doing the one, two, three, lift. So one, two, three, lift. One, two, three, lift. One, two, three, lift. Lift, one, two, three, lift. Lift. Tighten up that core as you lift your knees. Four per side, three. Three. Two. Two. One. One, good. All right, let's keep marching, keep marching on the spot. All right, this time we're going to be stepping to the side. So we'll do a one, two, other way. One, two. One, two. One, two. So keep pumping those arms to your side. Focus on that breathing. And we'll add that lift again. So do one, two, lift. One, two, lift. One, two, lift. One, two, lift. Work at your own pace. <laughs> and so incorporating some balance work, tightening up that core every time you lift the knee. And of course, breathing. All right, awesome. Warming up, feeling good. <laughs> one more time per side, and one more time. And all right. So, circle the shoulders back. You want to grab a quick sip of water. I'm going to set my timer, and we're going to get into our first three exercises. All right, so for our first one, I'll demonstrate first. We're going to be doing a squat with a crossover tap. So you can either do it tapping with your hands or you can choose the elbows. So we'll take each side and then squat down again, okay? All right, ready? And here we go, so squat. And cross over, opposite hand to the knees. Squat and cross. Elbows or hands, up to you. Remember when you do your squats, take your hips on, bending into those knees. Don't let your knees cross your toes. Sitting in a chair. Okay, awesome, 10 more seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, good. We'll step side to side, circle back. Okay, 
eight. Done a little bit of traveling already. What we're going to do next is we're going to do traveling forwards and backwards. So those 45 steps, you can join me now. You can go for 40 seconds and at a good pace. We have three to four steps. Make sure there's enough space behind you. Now, if you really want to, you can do a bit of a jog. You want to jog forwards and back. Or keep on marching. All right, awesome. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, grab those sleeves. All right, the next one is a row. So we're gonna be standing with one leg in front of the other, arms right in front. We're going to be squeezing our shoulder blades back. So lean forwards just slightly. All right, there we go. Arms straight, squeezing the arms back. So reaching on an angle, not directly down. Inhale and exhale as you squeeze. Bend into the front knee. All right, good, a few more. And 10 more seconds. Good, and three, two, one, and lower those weights. Good job. Awesome. And warming up. <laughs> warming up. So back to our squat with the crossover. Great. Play around with how close those feet are. Great. So squat, cross, cross. Squat, cross, cross. Make sure that you're looking straight ahead as you squat. Not looking down. You're balanced and your dizziness will be happier that way. speed today. Another 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. All right, awesome. Get your heart rate up. Good. Circle the shoulders back and then we'll be marching forwards and back. Now this is maybe a message for you today. Ready, aim, fit. <laughs> All right, ready? Back to that march. And we're going to travel forward and back. Got that option to go up and go walk or to do a bit of a jog forward and back. Going backwards is really good for the other part of our brain, really good for balance. For our core. Changing directions is also really important. Another 10 seconds. And almost there. Three, two, one. And, and circle the shoulders back. We'll step side to side. Ooh, take a few deep breaths. Good job. Okay, and then grab those weights. Okay, so we had one leg in front, switch legs, so the opposite leg is in front. Arms on an angle, straight, squeeze back. And you can choose to lean over slightly, keeping that back straight, working the back as we move into our row. Right, really squeeze those shoulder blades back together. All right, good. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Whew, all right, good. Set those weights down. 
Eight. Awesome. Stepping side to side. All right, so in between, we're gonna be doing this. This one today. So reaching up overhead raises our heart rate. And side to side. You have the, the option to tap or to lift. But just in case you're not warm yet, I'll do it. <laughs> Good, another 10 seconds. Good, and three, two, and one. All right, and circle of shoulders back. If you want to have a sip of water, feel free. Okay, so moving into our next round, our next uh, exercises. So next we're going to take our legs a little wider and we're moving into our sumo squats. Hands together, bend the knees, and then reach up. Great, hands together, squat, and reach. I like this one. I find this is a really energizing exercise. Squat and reach. Now, if you're able to, you can also rise up onto your tippy toes as you stand, stand tall. Depending how far your legs are, <laughs> this is either possible or not. <laughs> All right, a few more. Three, two, and one. All right, good job. March it out, circle back. Okay, so next we're going to move to our cardio. We're going to be tapping one foot behind the other and reaching your arms in front. All right, so join me with back leg tap. We're going to squeeze in your bum, lifting our glutes. Reaching. Slightly bending the front knee so we can tap. Extending the leg back further. Eight, three, two, and one. All right, good. All right, take a few deep breaths. It's good to check in as we're exercising. Am I getting my heart rate out? Am I feeling good? Am I breathing enough? Or am I feeling busy? All right, okay, let's grab one weight. This one is new. Okay, so if you have osteoporosis, I'll give you one option. Um, so we're going to bring your hand close to your, your ear. If you have osteoporosis, we're gonna bring your weight towards your, uh, your elbow. Okay, so palm is facing front of the room. Okay, so you're tightening up your core as you're bringing that weight up. Okay, so if you've got osteoporosis, do this option. Otherwise, if you don't, we're going to be doing a side body lean. Leaning to the side, keeping your back straight. This is a side motion. This motion is not recommended for those with osteoporosis. That's why I gave the other option. All right, so both options, you'll feel the side of your body working. And, and remember which side you do, so we'll switch next time. Next round. All right, good. Another five, four, three, two, and one. All right, good. So set that weight down, other side next time. Okay. So into our sumo squat and reach. Legs nice and wide, ready, and here we go. Bend in the knees and reach. Going at a good pace here. Find where those feet and legs feel good. You might need to adjust to that. And of course, you have the option to lift up those heels. Good. 
Great, almost there. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right, good. Let's march that out. Ooh, good job. To our top, our back top. Great. And so here we go. This time we're going to add a punch. So punching forwards as we tap your leg back. One toe at a time. So you can definitely do it standing a little straighter, or you can take it a little further. And all right, breathing in and out. And we're almost there. Two more seconds. Three, two, and one. Ooh, all right, and let's figure those arms. Great, that's really fun. Now we'll grab that weight onto our beaded vein. Right, so opposite sides, all right, osteoporosis option is bringing that arm towards that elbow. Okay, just like you're kind of folding the two together, keeping your back straight, keeping your core as you lift. Or option number two is leaning. Leaning side to side. You'll feel both the side where you're leaning away from and you're leaning towards working. Moving in, breathing out. Thanks. Awesome. We're going to keep our core nice and tight. Good. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Awesome. Set that weight down. Okay. Good. And in between, we're going to do our cardio again. So option is to step and touch, reaching, or step and lift. Try to take a really nice big step side to side. It's like you're stepping over a puddle. Okay, so done. And we'll do three per side. Three, two, and one. All right, excellent. Grab a sip of water. Good job. All right, good. All right, how are we doing? Good. <laughs> All right. So our next three, we're going to be doing a lunge and kick. So one leg in front, one leg behind. You can either have your hands together or hands on your hips, or use a chair for balance. We're going to be lunging and lift the back leg, kick in front, and return that leg. Lunge and kick. All right. So this is working our balance as well. Good for the knees. Keep those the toe and heel close together. Reach the knee low or a little higher. And hinge at the hips here, keeping your back straight. All right, and sit down. Great, five seconds. Four. Three, two, and one. All right, remember which foot was in front. Next time we'll do the other one. Three is left in front. 
Okay, me spinning that loud. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be moving weights or jumping jacks, chops. Ready? And here we go. So tapping to the side. Of course, you can reach out to the side. Work a little harder, arms overhead. And then in between, you can add a bit of a squat if you want to work a little harder in between each tap. All right, so choose your option today. Good, another 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Good, all right, circle and stop. Great, good job. For the next one, we're going to grab that chair down. We are seated crossover, so you can move towards the edge of the chair. Option one is to bring your elbows towards your opposite knee, sitting nice and tall, or give your back a bit of a break and lean against the back of the chair. All right, so here we go. Right. Tightening up that core as you bring your elbow to the opposite knee. It's like you're pulling your belly button towards your spine. Alright, off the mark. One shoulder is always touching the chair if you're feeling that. Almost there, 10 more seconds. Five more, three, and two, and one. All right, oh. <laughs> let's get up before we stay. <laughs> All right, that chair to the side. Great, and we're gonna move into our lunge kick in just a sec. In between, we're going to go back to our reach and tap. All right, stepping or lifting the knee. The heart rate up again. Really reach up, squeeze those arms. And let's do three, two, and one. All right, good. Now grab a sip of water before we go on to our second round of these ones. So if Finley is sleeping in his bed, but I'll have to show you at the end. I, um, Mike and I trimmed him ourselves. <laughs> Got the electric razor and the I'll have to say, he looks pretty cute. Now, dog grooming will not be my next career. <laughs> it was kind of fun to do. Yeah, he was a good boy for the most part. All right. So remember which foot was in front. If the knee has the left foot in front, and then we're going to be doing our kick again. So hands on your hips, arms in front, up to you. Let's start with our lunge and kick. Lunge and kick. I realize I'm totally wrong. Yeah. I'm gonna do the other side. <laughs> I know that because normally I start with my stronger side. I realized I think I did this side. So you can reach as well. You can squat and reach. Either both arms or with the opposite arm. Only lunge down once your foot is planted back. And 10 more seconds. Good. And one. All right, good. Stepping side to side, circle the shoulders back. Now 
next we're moving into our jumping jacks. All right, and here we go. So stepping, stepping, topping, reaching overhead. We're adding that squat in between, reaching towards your feet. Doing your option. All right, 10 more seconds. And three, two, and one. All right, Ooh, big circle, shoulders back. Have another sip of water if you'd like. All right. Back to our seated crossover. So we'll pull that chair again. Great, sit near the edge and then refine all the way back. All right. Now you can always reach with your hands or your elbows. So your choice. Here we go, we're on the clock. Bringing the one shoulder away. Tightening up that core, squeezing it in as you reach for that opposite knee. If you feel it more in your back, then slow it down, take a break, and then try again. Normal for our back to want to do all the work, especially if you've had a back injury or have chronic back pain. Having a stronger core will actually help alleviate um, that back pain, which is great. All right, almost there. Five, four, three, two. And one. Woo! All right. Good job. Good job. We've got one more. One more round. More exercises. Okay, let's circle the shoulders backwards. This time we're going to be um, bringing one heel up, and then the heel, and then the toe up. So a nice gentle rock here. All right, and we'll do a few on the other leg, soft sides, the toe and then the heel, circling the shoulders backwards. This is a nice gentle stretch to do before we move into our, our next three. No, this is not our first, <laughs> first exercise <laughs> to relax us. All right, so let's grab your weights. We'll need both. Okay, both weights. So we're going to be moving into a press with your knee lifting. So I'll show you what it looks like. We're going to be doing, well, holding on to the weights here. And we're going to do the opposite side and one side at a time. So here we go. Lift the same arm, same leg. So we're going to do this for 20 seconds. Oh, no, I'll tell you when to switch to the other side. Good. Another 10. Inside. Pulling in the core as you lift your knee. Three, two, one, switch. Good. Working our shoulders, working our arms. Three, two, and one, good. All right, let's release those weights. Set them down. Our cardio exercise next. This is called the skaters. So a few options. You can have your hands on your hips, tapping one foot behind the other. Okay, and then if you want to go a little lower, you can add in your arm, reaching towards the knee or towards the floor, tapping behind. All right, so option one, if your back is bothering you, standing a little straighter. Okay, or else take it a little lower if you'd like bending your knees. Focus 
on that breathing. Good. Another sip of water. We'll keep tapping side to side. Okay, and then we've got one more. One more for the weight. Well, with the weight again. All right, so just one weight. So we're gonna stand one foot in front of the other. You can either have your feet close together or a little further apart. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna be doing a figure eight with the weight. So really good for the core. All right, so like a kayaking motion, kayak side to side. I'm gonna challenge your balance. You can lift the back heel, so it's just your toe. That's touching behind you. Or you can even lift that leg if you want, bending the knee. And squeeze your glutes, tighten up your core to keep you stabilized. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, and release. All right, remember which leg was behind. I think it was the right leg and set that weight down. All right, good. So again, in between, we're gonna get that heart rate up with our lift and press. All right, you guys, we're almost done. It went so well, we got one more round. Last three exercises after this. Eight. This is the best way to start your day. Exercising, moving your body, pushing yourself, maybe past what you would normally do on your own. Power of a group. Three, two, and one. All right, awesome. So we're gonna do our press again. So that leg. Eight. So tell you when to switch, we're gonna do again 20 and 20. Okay, 20 per side, doing the opposite arm, opposite leg. All right, here we go. The lifting. Now, if you really want to challenge yourself, don't touch down in between. Keep this foot a few inches from the floor. Really working your balance. Good. And switch. Of tapping down or keeping that leg lifted. Two more seconds. And three, two, and one. Woo, all right. Set the weights down. And moving to our skaters next. Okay, so again, you've got that option to tap, stay nice and tall, or take it a little bit more. Bending into the knees. Great. Or the second one is. Hopping that foot behind. doing is being healthy in real life, right? Also doing post work, going for walks, improving stamina, speed, to catch your feet if you feel like you're going to lose balance. All right, three, two, and one. Good, all right, circle back. 
That one gets the heart rate up every time. <laughs> so good. All right, we've got one more. Our change in weight. So we can grab that one weight. Right, which one was in front last time? Which side? All right, and we're going to do that. Um, a bit of a twist. Now keep your torso forward, especially if you've osteo. But we're going to figure your arms. Option is keeping, is lifting your back heel or lifting the full leg. Right. Keep that core tight. Squeezing it in, squeezing your glutes as well. Keep breathing. And 10 more seconds. And four, three, two, and one. Woo, all right, set your weight down. And grab a sip of water and then we'll move it to some stretches. Great job. You know, it's a good workout when you go through all your water. <laughs> ah, all right. Nice, nice and wide. And similar to how we started today, we're going to be facing both feet towards the front of the room, bending into one knee at a time. All right. And just notice how you're feeling. How are you doing? Feeling a little bit more awake, invigorated, warmer, more motivated. Great. Can you fit your this stretch here and press right above the knee, getting a little further. And then look over your shoulder. Look straight and then we'll do the other side. Listen to the same. Staying here or look over the shoulder here too. And look straight ahead. All right, and we'll bring those feet together and then take a big step back. So bending into your front knee, pressing into your back heel to stretch the back of the leg. And then reach those arms up, looking up towards the ceiling. Now, as you lean back a little bit here, you'll feel more of a stretch in that hip flexor, which gets tight. Then lower the arms, step forward, and step back with the other side. Pull knee into the front knee. Leaning in first, stretching the back leg. And then straighten up and lean backwards. Reach the arms to stretch the front of that hip. And lower the arms and step in. All right. Take one arm right across, pressing just uh, very close to your elbow, circling your wrist. Focusing on deeper breathing as we're finishing up. And then take the arm up and over. If you've osteoporosis, reach the arm. If you want to go a little further, hand on your hip, leading. And then straighten, reach down your back. Now here's a test. See if you can bend this arm and reach up your back. Can you touch your fingers? Can you come close? If not, grab a hold of your t-shirt. Want them to work towards. All right, good. Lower this arm. The opposite arm comes across now. And pressing the arm right across, circling your wrist. So pull the other way.
hands, and then we'll bring that arm up and over. Option one or option two. Good, and then bring that arm down your back. Opposite arm goes up your back. You might notice the difference. In one of my classes I used to teach, I had a woman who was 96 and she could touch behind her, her back and she was so proud of it. It was so cute. And she'd always say, oh, well, I can do it. Why can't you? To everyone who's in their 70s. <laughs> and uh, yeah, she had a sense of humor. So everyone laughed. Really was very impressed by Doris. <laughs> All right, good. So we're going to finish up. Finishing up, we're gonna lean over to stretch your back. So bring your arms up. And then exhale, you can lean back into your knees, hinging at your hips. And, or reach all the way down your legs. And then come on up one more time. Inhale, reach and exhale, reaching to your knees, lower down your legs. And then come on up and give yourself a hug. Wonderful job, wonderful job. All right, I'll tell you where we're at with our stats. 310 calories we burned, good. My average uh, beats per minute was 139. And then I'll tell you steps as well. And that was just about, I'd say about 2,500 steps, give or take. So that's awesome. Here's Finley. He doesn't look too bad, does he? Pretty cute. <laughs> yeah, so I trimmed around his face and his, his legs. He could use a little touch up of his feet. But then we got out the electric razor and did his back. It was definitely a two-person job. I had to hold him and like hold his head <laughs> so he didn't, you know, nip at the or more lick. He likes to lick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty successful, I'd have to say. So, yeah. all right. Well, great job today, ladies. Great job. Hope you're doing well. And uh, just a reminder: tomorrow I do have a um, guest presenter. So I have Osteoporosis Canada, who's going to be talking about osteoporosis, bone health and fall prevention. And um, I sat in on this presentation last week. It's really, really good. So if you know someone who could benefit or you want to and you haven't got the link, just send me an email and I'll send over the sign up form for that. And that's uh, tomorrow at one or else if you're going to miss it and you want the replay, you can still sign up. All right. Good. So, have a wonderful day. Great to see you all. And see you next week. And some of you Thursday. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you feel really, really great. Now, if you enjoyed this video, you will love my program. Click the link below. It will take you to my website and it will tell you all about my membership program so you can keep exercising with me right at home. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe because I have lots of other videos just like this. Check out my playlists and the other videos here and I hope to see you soon. Thanks for joining.